I'm gonna show you how to build an AI automation business using the automated LinkedIn method. In three easy to follow steps, we'll create our AI automation business together, generate leads using the automated LinkedIn method, and then automate our follow-up using the rule of seven framework. I'm also gonna be giving away this entire AI business system completely for free to everyone watching. So make sure that you stick around through the whole video to find out how. So the first question to answer is why start an AI automation business? Well, Forbes interviewed 600 businesses and found that 97% of all businesses believe that AI will directly help them in their business businesses, everything from customer support, personal assistance, as well as content creation, the list goes on. So what is an AI automation business? Well, like the name suggests, AI, artificial intelligence, and automations, where we're gonna be helping businesses in all of their different business needs. Things like content creation, AI chatbots, responding to messages automatically, unified inboxes, setting up websites, anything to be able to automate and streamline a business's processes, we're gonna be able to provide those services to them being able to give business owners the AI and automation tools that they need to succeed, and then offer different services, things like ads management, appointment setting, lead generation, whatever it is that you can do as an additional service. But if not, you can still just offer them the tools that they would need otherwise. So we're essentially creating a SaaS, which is a software as a service, all in one AI and automation for specific businesses. So we can offer a suite of tools to businesses, things like capturing leads, nurturing leads, and closing those leads into clients for them. So we can give them things like website builders, blogs, funnels, CRM, email marketing, automation assistance, unified messaging tools, calendars and schedulers, AI content creation tools, as well as AI chatbots. And there's a lot of other tools that we can offer them as well as part of our suite of services. You can see here a list of all the different types of things that a business owner would be using. Things like email marketing, SMS marketing, sales funnels, website builders, call tracking, service forms, booking appointments, CRM, tracking analytics, the list goes on. And you can see how many different types of tools that a business owner would have to subscribe to. I know firsthand because I've subscribed to a majority of these different tools on this list and it's cost me several thousands of dollars a month. But when I started using this tool, I was able to save thousands of dollars by switching to this one tool and you can resell this tool to other people and let's say charge $197 a month for access to all the things that you see on this list. Now this is not my software. I'm just able to resell the software because I'm using this tool called High Level. So High Level is the back end of all of these different AI and automation tools. And what they allow you to do is to be able to white label their software. Now, if you don't know what white labeling is, it's essentially where you're able to put your name on top of their product and resell it to other people. So if you've been on Amazon and you've bought something like a backpack or a water bottle, more than likely than not, that is a white labeled product that some other company has attached their name to because they're getting that product made in China, let's say. And in China, they have a factory where they're just creating a lot of, let's say, different water bottles. And then different companies like, let's say, Hydroflask, for example, Hydroflask is just putting their company on top of their water water bottle and then they're reselling it. But a bunch of other companies are able to just take their logo, put it onto that water bottle and then sell it for however much they want. But the reason why you pay more money for Hydroflask is because it's a brand mm. and it has a specific image. It's the same thing with high level. People are going to pay you for your services because it's gonna be catered to them. And maybe you have specific things that you're able to help those specific business owners. Let's say for therapists or cleaning companies or yard work, whoever it is wants a specific tool that's catered to their business and they're willing to pay a premium for that because they know that it's relevant to them. And the beautiful thing about white labeling a software like High Level is that you don't need to have any coding experience. All you need to do is press a few buttons. You can see here on this page, I have, let's say three different packages. I have a standard plan, a professional plan, premium plan, and I can go in and I can change this to whatever I want. So let's say on the standard plan, so I can go in and I can just say, okay, I only wanna charge $197. And then the features that I wanna be able to offer are just very limited. I only wanna give people the very basic features like texting, reputation management, Google My Business Managing, web chat, stuff like this, you know, basic features and they get that for 197 a month. But let's say I want to charge for my premium plan. I wanna give them everything. So I say, okay, I'm going to charge, let's say $500 a month and they're gonna get access to all of the features in high level 
and they're gonna get access to all of that. Plus whatever else that you're gonna be offering. Maybe you offer coaching, maybe you offer specific messages or emails that they get directly imported into their account. You can do this however you want because this is your business. Instead of you having to go out there and make your own software, you get all of the business tools that any business owner needs all in one software. You only have to pay high level a monthly fee that doesn't change and you are able to charge your clients however much. So you are able to scale your income infinitely, but your cost is actually just going to stay the same month over month. This is exactly what people are doing to make a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand dollar a month plus using this software. So if you want this custom website where you can put your name, your company, you get all these videos without the logos and you can just put whatever it is that your company is and make it truly yours, I'm gonna be giving away this website as well as a bunch of other different bonuses completely for free as well as an extended 30 day free trial to high level if you use my link in the description. It comes at no additional cost to you and I'm just giving this away because I wanna be able to help support you in your business. Again, you can use my link in the description. So now that we know what type of AI business that we're gonna be starting, the next thing is to start reaching out out and getting people to see our business. So the tool that we're gonna be using is called Closely. Now, the reason why we're using Closely is because it is an automated LinkedIn outreach tool. So today we're specifically focusing on LinkedIn lead generation and we wanna be able to automate the process and that's why Closely is a great tool for that. So when you log into Closely and you connect your LinkedIn account, it's going to show all of these different contacts. Now, the cool thing about this My Network uh, section is that this is everybody that's in your network, but you can see that it's actually able to pull their contact information and right over here you can see that you can actually get their contact information very easily by just clicking this little button called open contact and it'll use the credit and then it will actually pull things like their emails and phone numbers so i can go through all of my contacts and then select open contacts and i can pull their relevant information and then i can filter my connection so if i type in here let's just say job title is with Airbnb, I can see all the people that are associated with Airbnb, and I can very easily just go in and open their contact information and pull it just like that. Second really nice feature about Closely is that it has a unified inbox. So whenever you're doing your communication, instead of having to log into LinkedIn and just using the LinkedIn messaging tool, you can actually just use Closely. And what's nice about Closely is that you can add tags. So let's say this is a lead and they're engaging with me. I can just go in here and then I can select one of these tags or I can just create my own tag let's say like lead and then that new tag is added to them and then if I wanted to filter anybody through my conversations I can just filter through the tags and find only the people that have the tags that I've assigned to them the campaign section is the bread and butter of closely so a campaign is where you're going to start doing your outreach for your target niche so I'm going to click on create new campaign and let's say I want to target cleaners in the Tampa Bay area for my AI automation services. So I'm just going to say cleaners Tampa for the campaign name and then select the account that you're going to run this campaign on. And you can see here that it says warm up mode is on. Now, whenever you create your account with Closely, if you've never really been doing a lot of prospecting, there's a warm up period that is required. Otherwise, you're gonna get flagged and your account is going to get banned. If your account gets banned, you're gonna to have to provide your ID and let them know that you are not a bot. But what Closely automatically does is it goes through this warm up period by only sending a fraction of the total amount of requests in order for LinkedIn not to get triggered that you could be a bot. Click save and next, and now we want to start finding people. So now we need to go to LinkedIn and go to the search bar, and we're just going to look up our target audience. So I'm going to say, let's say cleaning company, because I wanna find people that own cleaning companies. Then we're gonna click on people, and then you can see that we have 43,000 results for cleaning company. Now I'm not gonna be reaching up to 43,000 people in this campaign. We're going to break it down to a specific location. So I'm going to click on locations, and then I'm going to type in here, Tampa, Florida, and then show results. And then we can see here, now we have 445 people that are associated with a cleaning company. If I wanted to get more specific, I could click on all filters, scroll down to the bottom, and then you can put in things like the title. So if I want to put it in, let's say CEO, so the person that is in charge of the company, now we have 69 results for CEOs. So if I like this result, I'm just going to take the URL, copy it, and then we're gonna go back to Closely and then paste it into here. And then we want to add the maximum. So I'm just going to put here 500 because that is the maximum that you can put. And then I'm going to click on save and next. Now this is the really cool part about Closely because now it's acting as if it were you. So it's gonna do things like, let's say just view a person's profile. And whenever you view a person's profile, they will get notified that somebody has viewed it. If they have LinkedIn premium, they can actually see that you viewed their profile. You can do things like connection requests, 
like a post and you can see that you can send a message, but right now it's saying that you need to add a connection request first. So what we're going to be doing is first, we're going to just view everybody's profile. And then all we need to do is click on next step. After we viewed their profile, you can see here we can have a wait step. So if we wanted to wait a couple days, we could just change that to two or however long we want. I'm gonna leave it at one and then I'm going to click on connection request. So now this is where we're going to actually be able to connect with the person and we can leave a personalized message for them. We could say, hi, first name. And we could say something like, I'm a local business owner would love to connect or something like that. And then we can cl just click preview to see what it looks like. And you see, it says, hi, John, I'm a local business owner, would love to connect. And if I like that, just click on next step. And then maybe we could set this to wait for a couple days. We just want to give them some time to be able to connect. Now that we've sent them that connection request, we can technically message them. What I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna say, hey, we're gonna like a post, wait another day, like another post. All right, so now that we've done the connection request, we can send a message. So we might just say something like, hi, first name. I'm curious if you're using AI and automation tools in your cleaning business, yada, yada, yada. And then you can send that message. You can see it on the right over here as well. If we wanted to, we could do a couple more like posts just to let them know that we're a real person and that we're engaging with them. And then whenever we are satisfied with our campaign, we just click save and next. And you can see that we have the 67 contacts that we had on that LinkedIn search within our campaign now. So we can message all of these people. And if we've somehow already contacted these people, don't worry about it. There's this little button here that says exclude people added to other campaigns. We can select that. And then none of these people would be contacted again for a second time. So whenever we're ready, we can just say save and start now. And then it will start sending those messages out to all of these people in this campaign. So you can see this campaign says that it's active and then it will start monitoring all of these different metrics. So it's going to say the connections, the accepted, the messages, the reply rate, visits, likes, and endorses. And while this campaign is running, we are going to see these numbers going up and we'll be able to judge the performance of our campaign. So that way, if we create another campaign in the future, we can say which variables work best. Maybe you have to modify the message and maybe you have to like a few more posts and you can play around and test that with this tool. So now that our campaign is running, the whole goal is to get people to respond to us in the inbox. So that way we can continue and nurture that relationship. From here, the next step is either getting them onto a sales call or getting them to check out and actually purchase your product directly. So that takes us to the last step, which is using automations for the rule of seven framework. So when you create your high level account, you're gonna click on sites and you're going to want to create a funnel for your business. I already have a funnel created, which is called this AI SaaS for your niche. And then we can go in here and I can view this page, which is made and it says five best tools for scaling your niche using AI automations. You can put in a name and an email and they are going to get this lead magnet sent directly to them. This is a free download lead magnet in order to collect information. If I wanted to edit this lead magnet, it's very easy. I just click on edit page and then I can go in and I can change this to be however I want. I can change out the image. I could change the colors. I could put in my niche, which is let's say cleaning companies, let's say using AI and automations. I can do whatever I want with this page. It's very easy, very customizable, changing colors, etc. We could just do it just like that. So whenever I'm happy, I can just click on save and then go back. Once you've sent them to this landing page and you've collected their email, then you can just have them go immediately to the second page, which could be a calendar page or let's say a free trial page. So you can see what this website looks like here. Meet your name, the all-in-one AI software uh, for building your niche. And it says up here, just check your inbox and spam for the tools resource. So that way they know, okay, something is being sent to my inbox. And then if they were to click on this button, they could, let's say, start a free trial of the software immediately, or you could change this so that way it's a calendar. Creating and changing a page is very easy. As you can see, you just click on edit. We go to the edit page. And then let's say instead of a free trial, I wanted to do schedule a free AI implementation call. And then for this button, what I want this button to do is to open a pop-up. And then for the pop-up, you just click up here where it says pop-up. And now we can change this to be whatever we want. So if I say, okay, I want this to be a calendar, I just look up calendar and then I select a calendar like such, I can get rid of this free trial. And now we have a calendar booking page that they can automatically just book a call. If I like this, I click save and then I click on preview. And now when I click on this button, now we have a calendar that is directly integrated with your calendar. If it's Outlook or Google, whatever it is, they can go in here, they can select the time very easy. 
and put in their information and they'll be able to get a confirmation email about the appointment. But let's say that they got the lead magnet, but they didn't schedule a call or get a free trial. So this is where we're going to use automations to streamline the rule of seven framework. I'm going to click on back and then we're going to go into the automation section of high level. Then we click on automations. And if I wanted to create an automation, we could just click on create a workflow to create a brand new one. I'm going to take you into one of mine that already has it pre-built and I'm just gonna walk you through how it works. If you've never seen an automation before, I don't want you to get overwhelmed, but this is really some of the most exciting stuff about the high level software because now we can automate our processes. So when you create an automation, the first thing is going to be what's called a workflow trigger. So a workflow trigger, as the name suggests, is a trigger. So it will trigger this automation to start and we can have our automation start from anything. In this example, it says when a form is submitted, it's going to trigger this automation. So we could just select our form, such as let's say the SAS lead magnet. And then whenever somebody fills out that form, they are going to be put into this automation. Then we can add tags to them. Like I mentioned earlier, a tag is just a way to be able to identify different people. So in Closely, you can add tags to your prospects. In High Level, you can add tags as well. I'm gonna skip creating an opportunity because opportunities and sales pipelines can get a little bit complex. But if you want me to go into more detail, I do have a free course where I go and I break down sales pipelines, opportunities, everything within High Level. I have a very in-depth free course that you can walk through and, and learn about that. So people are just going to continue to move down the automation and hit every single step. So this step right here is sending them a text message. So if they provided their phone number, you can send them a text. If they didn't provide their phone number, you can also just send them an email. This is a wait step. So what this means, it's going to wait however long you want. I can have a wait for 67 minutes. I can have a wait for 67 hours or 67 days, however long I want. The contact who filled in that form is going to wait there until this timer is met or unless they respond to, let's say, the text message or the email that I previously sent. If they respond, I want them to continue. If they don't respond, I don't want them to continue. After that 67 minutes has passed, then it's going to go to this step, which is called the if else. If a contact does not reply, then move them over here. If they do reply, then move them over here. So this is just a way to be able to split somebody depending on the action that they do. This step is checking if the hours are between 8 a.m. before 10 p.m. because I don't want to be sending text messages or emails emails middle of the night. I want to wait until it is the middle of the day. So that's what that step is doing. If the current hour is on or after 8 a.m. and before 10 p.m., it's going to continue moving down this way. So now what it's going to do is it's just going to continue to send them text messages. And this cycle basically just repeats itself multiple times. As you can see, this is the next day. So it's waiting for 24 hours, sending them another text message, waiting for 24 hours, sending them another text message, waiting for 24 hours, sending them another text message. So this is how you implement the rule of seven framework. And the rule of seven is a marketing framework that a prospect is probably not going to remember you until they've seen or heard from you at least seven times. I can't tell you how many one-time emails or reach outs I've had from people asking if I wanted to do something with them or if I wanted to buy their service and they've only contacted me one time. But luckily we have automations that can streamline that process for us so we don't have to manually reach out because the follow-up with a prospect is typically the hardest part for a business owner unless you're using automations to be able to streamline that process. And that's what automations like this are for. So if you actually want my website that I showed you, this automation, as well as all of my other automations that I've used in my own business to generate over $3 million online, I wanna be able to give you that completely for free as well as a training on how everything works works. If you decide to sign up to high level using my link, I'll be able to import all of these websites, automations, everything into your account and give you the training that you need in order to understand how all of this works. All right, so you've seen how to use the automated LinkedIn method to be able to grow an AI automation business. And I've just started scratching the surface of how to be able to use high level in your own business. So if you wanna see a more thorough breakdown of all the different features that you can use with high level for your business and that any business owner would need to be able to start using, then watch this video where I break down the software here.